too. And it's been a long time. What's 20 years, probably? Well, you were about 18 when you left. 17 when I left. That was a really tough time for me. Good morning. Today is Friday, December 9th, and I'm getting ready to go to the school, actually, for a quick little pop-in. I have a couple of things going on. First of all, I have a meeting with my principal because it's the time of year when they normally do, like, mid-year um, checkups on our progress for our personal development plan, and I don't want to put her behind on her schedule, and it's good for me to, like get out and move a little bit so I'm going to do that and then um, I scheduled before I knew I was going to be out this long I scheduled a um, presentation from one of our local universities um, they're going to come in and talk to my eighth grade class today about biotechnology and stem cells research and stuff like that that they're doing at the college which I have a lot of oh Sorry, I'm like spraying makeup all over me. I have a lot of students who are interested in medical type things like nursing and things like that. So this is a really important um, opportunity for my students. And I definitely do not want to ask a guest speaker to be there and then not be there myself. So um, I just talked to her this morning, so I know she's definitely coming. So I'm getting ready and then I'm going to sneak out and do that for a little bit and then come back and um, I've been decorating so I can't do it all at once. Um, I realized that um, even though I'm trying to go with like this teal and natural and um, gold and white theme in my living area, um, I have the opportunity to use some warmer shades like reds and things in the kitchen because of the way that the kitchen is um, decorated because I have aqua and red in my color scheme in the kitchen and also the light that is that we haven't swapped out yet that's above the, um, the little covers on it it's like red and almost like a Thanksgiving -y, like fall kind of look it's red and gold and um, like stuff like that so because of that i can do more color in the kitchen so i can use some of my things my red things and um just keep my bedroom because my bedroom is like a a gray and um teal and white and with a little tiny bit of red um, and ivory so i'm going to keep my bedroom pretty um cool as far as the shades go and then i'm going to use the warmer things like around the coffee bar the shelving in the kitchen. I forgot that there's like a, a shelf kind of like in the window um, above my sink. So that's like a perfect place for me to put some taller things too that will look nice in the window. So yeah, so I've been decorating. I'm going to finish that up. Um, it's going to take me a little while because I have to go buy a few things, but I wanted to put out what I have now and see where the gaps are. So then when I go shopping, I'm going to buy things that I truly need and not waste any money so which would be good anyway and I caved and put my snowman um, that I said was getting really old I put him on the um, doorknob to the room that Grayson will stay in because I think he'll like it so <laughs>
told you I had a lot of stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I might buy a few things, but I don't need that much. I just need to be creative with how I place things. When Joe and I were first married and we didn't have a lot of money, we went to the Dollar General or the, and we found a whole set of these that were like from different um, countries dressed in the traditional like Santa Claus garb. And I, this is the only one that came out of the tub. So I don't know what we did with this unless we have another tub that I haven't found yet. So one of the things that I forgot to talk to you about is the fact that um, we inherited a tradition from Joe's mother. Um, she had a Santa collection that she always had on her mantle every year. And so um, Joe loves different types of Santa Clauses, especially like old world ones. This one's super heavy. Um, it is harder and harder to find like good ones because a lot of them are like resin and not very well made. Um, so you can spend a lot on a good Santa. And last year I bought him this um, really nice Santa Claus that was actually from Sweden and it's hand carved and hand painted. It is like beautiful. And every year I try to look for another one that he would like, um, like this one. Um, he loves American history, so I got this for him one year. Um, I don't know that I'm buying any Santas this year. We'll see uh, to add to the collection. But I think maybe I'm going to do the Santas in the bookcase because the bookcase is all teal already. So I think I can get away with doing a lot more red there. And that's where I'll put all my Santa stuff. So I'll just make some room for those today. And... Um, I think also like some of this other stuff, I have this little, um, this is a candle display and it says ho, ho, ho on it. And it, it you put tea lights in it. I think I'm going to um, put it in here. Once I get all of this stuff moved, this is the spare room where Grayson will be staying when he comes to visit. I think I'll just put a display on the desk here once that's cleared off. And that way, um, there'll be some like fun kid kind of stuff in here. Yes. Okay. Let's go outside. Come on. Go on. Go outside. Go outside. Okay. Mommy's gonna stay in here. 